Joy Scaff and Greg Truman, both of uh, Air Jamaica. You must be very happy with the way it's uh, not only gone from day one, but the way it's going in this uh, fourth tournament. Absolutely, we certainly are. We're really, really proud to be a part of the World Championship of Dominoes. You know, we're the airline of the Caribbean, and it really is a Caribbean sport. Mm -hmm. So as far as we're concerned, if we can bring all the Caribbean people together, and we really run a professional tournament, then it's certainly successful. Well, that's what it's been. How mm -hmm. difficult is it to, to get the publicity out in, in the other countries that have supplied players? Well, you know, Dominoes is a world-renowned sport throughout the Caribbean, so all we have to do is let the people know and the press pick it up and run with it. Mm -hmm. Radio, TV, newspapers, it's, it's, been, it's been a beautiful experience because the press throughout the Caribbean and in Jamaica have, have wrapped themselves around the event, so it's been terrific. It's a beautiful thing when you watch players from all over the world come and you see somebody from Anguilla playing with somebody from New York and somebody from Miami playing with somebody from Barbados because it's not just about dominoes, it's about common culture and making friendships and relationships that will last many years after the event. What's fabulous is working with the fellow sponsors like VMBS and Grace FX Traders who not only come and support it with a financial contribution but bring manpower to the event. So when you go look in the IT department and you see the people doing data processing, those are folks from VMBS and from Grace and FX Traders. When you go look in the press room, you see folks from Air Jamaica and the folks from VMBS. So it's a joint effort. It's not just Joy and Ruddy and myself doing it on our own. It's a, it's a team effort and the results are, are, have been flawless this year. So 5-4 in this third place playoff. Only one set, Johnston and Clark leading over McInnes and Powell. So Clark poses double five. Johnson played that one rather quickly. The feeling he doesn't have any aces because his partner Move the five that his partner put out there. Five comes back. I'm sure he will try to help his partner who posed the five in the first place. Johnson still with that double four and double six in his hand. One gate opens, another closes. He has a chance to take the double six now. He definitely has a chance to take it. Hard ends. Double three, just slipping in. Powell brings back the hard five. Well, partner is out of it and they take it. Well, consolation for team number 24. Missed out on a place in the final, but they take home $10,000 for third place. Earl Johnson and Evron Clark, team number 24. $5,000 will go to team number 235, Donovan McInnes and Alvin Powell. Now we're into the first set of this championship final of the World Domino Championships. It is 4-3. The game has gone back and forth so far, but it's 4-3 to Moses Wright and Vincent Elliott. That's team 221. Garth Gallier and Richard Daly. Remember, they have not lost a session in this championship. Three days of dominoes and they're still here and they're into the final, team number 47. Well, it's the best of five, unlike the rest of the games, the best of three. So they have a little way to go, but you still want to get out to a great start, don't you? You certainly do. As I say, it's been a keen tussle so far. Richard Gallia at the top of your screen, put up the success. You know, he takes his double five. And he plays again because he had all the fives. He 
in front and he wins. So Gallia and Daly level it off at 4-4. Ding bong battle continues. Of course, three out of the four players from the United States here in the final. Gallier, although he's playing with the, the special constable Richard Daly, who's based here in Jamaica, Gallier out of Florida. Moses Wright and Vincent Elliott also out of South Florida with the South Florida All-Stars team. Gallier and Daly played with the De La Vega team. They've all been here before. Elliott and Wright, in the first year they came here, two years ago came 16th. Last year they finished 55th. This year they're in the final. That's a huge jump. Oh, never. What's a ding dong battle? <laughs> it should have been ding dong. Yes. Yeah. Well, maybe it's a, a domino version of a ding dong battle. There you go. Four four. First set. And that neither of these teams can be saved by the bell. First three introduced. Number three immediately played. Yes. Uh, Elliot got it out quickly. Yes, for the two blank. <laughs> blank immediately coming back on the board, having been caught. Daly, the special constable, keeping the dominoes in line. Remember, they're playing for 25,000 US dollars. And it is now 5-4. Moses Wright, Vincent Elliott. Trying to get this first set out of the way. There's Moses Wright. Doesn't look like he's leading. Judging from his demeanor, you would think he's behind four sets to love in the last set. There he is. I suppose he's got a poker face in a domino game. I think it's a, he knows it's a far way to go, so he's mm. not going to get excited just yet. Let's see what happens. They could end the set now if they win this game. Like Moses of the past, he knows not to count his bridges before he's gotten there. You're on a roll, aren't you? The game just moving right along. Well, they go threes. And that means we know Garth Gallia doesn't have the double three because Moses Wright has just played it. Elliot was forced to run away from the deuce there and cut his hard end. Very quiet here. Crowd not too involved just yet. This Gallia. Go to deuces. Double four in some trouble. There it is. Till that uh, deuce ender is open and hard. Six one is the winning card from uh, Vincent Elliott, and they take the first set. Team number two twenty one. Moses Wright, Vincent Elliott, one up against Garth Gallia and Richard Daly in this final of the World Championship of Dominoes. Six four. Thank you.